It's interesting how I stumbled upon an old blurry picture of a grand lake house with the name J.F. Carlyle. It got me thinking, what is his story? Well, as it turns out, this man's story has had a profound impact on countless Americans, probably hundreds of thousands of them. More than anyone else, he provided joy, unconditional love, companionship, and lifelong friendships to many. Surprisingly, many people on the South Shore were unaware that he played a significant role in this part of their lives. The man in question is J.F. Carlyle, another one of those unbelievably wealthy millionaires from the Gilded Age who built a magnificent estate on the South Shore. His estate, named Rosemary, was constructed in Islip by Townbridge and Ackerman. Mr. Carlyle, like many wealthy individuals, married into another obscenely rich American family. His wife was Mary Pinkerton. Together they collected the finer things in life. Their estate boasted an extensive art collection, stunning furniture, and impeccably manicured grounds and gardens. They truly knew how to appreciate the finer luxuries in life. Mr. Carlisle was a successful stockbroker and served as the chair of the New York Stock Exchange. The couple enjoyed many activities such as horseback riding and various sports. They certainly lived an extraordinary life. Like many Gilded Age families, they also embarked on trips to Europe. However, it was during one of these journeys that they brought something back from England, an addition that would change the lives of thousands of Americans. The Labrador Retriever. You see, Mr. and Mrs. Carlisle were avid hunters and they became captivated by the retrievers they encountered in England. Upon the return to America, they established Wiggum Kennels on their Islip estate. They hired the renowned English breeder, David Elliott. They bred many lines of the Labrador Retriever that has spread across the country. How many are direct descendants is hard to determine, but many thousands. The Carlisles are credited with popularizing the Labrador Retriever in America. Wiggum Kennels became the breeding ground for many lines of the American Labrador Retriever. Mr. Carlisle served as the president of the Labrador Retriever Club for several years, alongside a few other Gilded Age Americans like Averill Harriman, Franklin Lloyd, Mrs. Marshall Fields. They were responsible for the remarkable growth of this breed in America. <music> 